intellectuals which mean uh, they're probably talked with marbles in their arses um, <laughs> so, yeah. he came from a place with an even number the wrong side of the, the Liffey for me oh, um, fuck. so yeah so anyway right so we shall start then with old Oscar yeah, Madman's the palette of uh, Redding Gale, Gale. Yeah. all right the Ballad of Reading Guel. We banged the tins and bawled the hymns and sweated on the mill, but in the heart of every man, terror was lying still. Ah, see, he said the mill. That's what he's talking about. That's right. Mm. Sure. Thank you, Dan. Uh, Wilde would actually never recover from his brutal treatment and died three years after his release at the age of 46. His brutal treatment in the prison wasn't Obviously, the only reason he ended up dying there was, um, I believe Oscar Wilde was pretty famously known for having syphilis, uh, yeah. because you know he liked to fuck. Yep, and he didn't just fuck men. I, I would say I said he's homosexual. But he was more like um, m- uh, male leaning bisexual because he he would have sex with women plenty of times. He so, died uh, of yeah, he, he he died of meningitis. Is that what it was? Yeah. Well, there you go. Anyway, various iterations started appearing around England, Scotland, and Wales, including one which looked like a paddle steamer. Inside the barrel, certain things such as gravel would be mixed. Um, One of them was introduced in North Allerton's jail in north of England. A prisoner there remarked that it was, quote, irksome, dull, monotonous, and disgusting. Uh, the nickname for this one was the Everlasting Staircase. Uh, there were very few iterations, not not very many. I, they, I saw somebody, they had put, uh, somebody had written about one that was like, you walked inside of it instead of on the outside of it. So the planks were like on the inside. You walked oh. in on the inner circumference of it. And, um, that's what I had in my so head when a, you described it. As, uh, that's what I assumed. On the inside, yeah, I assume it was like giant yeah, usually, hamster wheel job. Yeah, usually they were on the out, walking on the outside, like a giant water like wheel, for, and yeah, you yeah. actually walk on the paddles on the outside of it. You know that that was the that was the most famous kind. Um, I don't know if you got better leverage for milling because it would it would kind of be they would be recessed into the ground a little bit, so everything could be connected with machinery and stuff. Otherwise, they'd have to have a you know a lot of fucking structure to kind of hold it up in the air um so they would dig it down in the ground and kind of recess it in and you'd step up and walk and when you were done i also think that was make to make it easier for you to step off and step on without getting completely crushed by it otherwise you'd have to jump off and then jump back on so now what's interesting in the case of the north allerton treadmill is the fact that the treadmills were closed down after the local people in the area complained. So the millers and farmers there said the treadmill was negatively affecting their profits because the prison had five of them in total and that free labor was being used to operate what had become a very productive corn mill. It's like, listen, we're trying to do this and pay people to do it. You fuckers are doing it like five times the speed for free. You're you're fucking up the economy. <laughs> I mean, I understand what they're trying to do, but I mean, come on, you're you're screwing us. So the prison the prison eventually just got rid of them. Um, and actually, some of these prisons you can go online and look at the blueprints for when they were built or when they were renovated, and they will actually have the little boxes on there that show you where the treadmill was being built. I'll try to find it and I'll post it on our Instagram. It's really neat. Um, I think it was the Durham prison that I was looking at. And you could actually see up in a corner, little, little square. It was a little treadmill. Yeah. yeah. Now, as time would show, treadmills were clearly not that safe. Exertion combined with poor diet often led to injury, illness, and even death. An 1885 medical 
1885 British Medical Journal article called Death on the Treadmill, very inventive and creative with their titles, criticized Durham Prison for the treadmill-induced death of a prisoner with a heart disease. And in uh, November of 1894, at the Gloucester Prison, a 45-year-old inmate named Henry Johnson died on the treadmill, only receiving... So, this is some shit. You end up dying in prison because of the stuff that you're doing. You only got a 14-day sentence for death. Well, for, for, for death. For theft. How dare you die? <laughs> Get him into prison. Did you die? For- Throw him in prison. <laughs> Fuck him out to the treadmill. He says, don't, 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 He's just rolling. <laughs> it's like, this guy's pretty crap like, at this. <laughs> like you're rolling down an escalator. It keeps going up and you just keep going. Do, do, do. So he beat him until he starts walking. <laughs> A uh, 14-day sentence for death. It's like I never understood why they made um, suicide illegal. It's like, what are you going to do? <laughs> they already <laughs> yeah. did it. They just handcuffed corpse. And that's it. like, it's just, yeah. Yeah. So he only received a 14-day sentence for theft. He was, by all accounts, a strong man with no noticeable health issues. But after a round on the treadmill... He complained of chest pains and embarrassing bouts of farting. I get apparently that. that's a apparently that's a thing. If if you're having heart problems, apparently uh, having gas is a kind of a a, a symptom. Which hmm. I must be having heart problems. Yeah, I must be. Time. Yeah, just like, <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> uh, the prison doctor could find nothing wrong. <laughs> could find nothing wrong with him, and so he was sent back to his cell and told he'd be back on the treadmill the next day. On November first, just after five minutes on the machine, he collapsed and died. A look into the matter seemed to suggest that Johnson had been in perfectly fine shape, with the report saying he died of syncope, which was just fainting. Oh, he died. He had a massive fainting attack and died. <laughs> oh, dear. <Yeah. laughs> Hand to the forehead. Oh, dear. And then he's dead. For... He's, you know, if that's true, then like, Every female character from a 1930s or 1940s movie would have just died because they all fainted. It's, yeah, yeah. it's ridiculous. <laughs> so you're on King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she dead. <laughs> Bring back to place, boys. She fainted. Did the fall kill him? No. It was fainting yeah. killed the beast. <laughs> Now, the death rate from the treadmill soon climbed to about one a week.